Some of you guys already noticed that there's a C4 icons on the walls and floor in the withdrawal that you can use explosive to destroy them, creating a shot card or passage. Obviously, the grenade doesn't work, so get that out of there. With enough ammo for reserve, you can alternate it using the dumper, and also using the blow open both money gates. It will be a total of 4 shots of dumper. One C4 is also enough to blow both of the money gates. You will need to place and detonate them in between or the middle. In stealth, I recommend two bridging charge as they are faster, a quiet way to open both lock gates, and of course, you will also require the explosive entry skill perk if you want to unlock and bring the bridging charge yourself. If you don't know that, if you meet the manager in celebrity suit with the charmer hair, the dialogues alternate from Alex Shaw to Ryan Ross. Outside the map, you can see one of the buildings are actually modeled after the Roblox headquarters. There's a field spot you can camp doing loud. Besides inside the war room when doing by plan B, it can be behind manager's desk. The cover may not be good because of the wooden table, but it's closest to escape location. Second one is the corner of outside the wall room. The concrete wall provides a good cover, but remember to take them out before enemies come even closer. I usually camp by this location because it offers defense and offense. The plastic walls may protect you, at the same time you can shoot through the window holes and headshot the enemies. You can get this guys by learning a guard through the camera at outside, then looping them. But remember, the guard only investigate the spot you lure them at. This is one thing to notice if you're willing to steal a disguise safe away and avoid severely spotting the body. Preferably closest to the bushes possible. However, I do not recommend doing this on Iron Man run. There's a chance the body will not reach door properly and civilian has chance to notice them. Find the correct employee, then interrogate them. You might encounter this condition on operative difficulty and above. There's two spots I know you can attempt to hostage the employee, then interrogate them in a safer way. That depends where the route goes. This is one of the risky spots that you can lure the employee from upstairs inside. The second spot is a staircase at the back of the bank, which you can use to open the door to partially hide them or a method to get employee disguised. You can knock them out and hide the body in the back. Otherwise, it's pretty much a good way to neutralize half of the bank NPC, including the manager. Alternatively, you can hack the manager's computer to load it and interrogate there. Make sure the guard is not inside by the window and the employee lay down. There's a chance the manager comes in here. Or else, you can fully prevent this condition triggering by getting the employee disguised from manager's computer distraction before you search the server room. If you're curious what happens if you take out the employee without interrogating them, your only option is to keep this going in stealth to guess which power box to rewire. There's a higher chance to guess with the correct one if you rewire the one inside the storage room. Never mind. If you want to get in the manager room when you start, you don't really need to shoot them, break the window, or blow torch it. You can try to open it from the inside instead. From my personal stealth experience, you might only need two bridging charge for the money gates, even though on legend difficulty, you don't need keycard scrammer. You can actually find a keycard laying around the bank. Where? It can be here, 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 and here, here, or here. On operative and above difficulty, an employee will check on the wall in 1 minute and 20 seconds after the wall being opened. 
If you don't know which weapon to choose to play in this mission and loud, personally, I choose SMGs since you'll be transferring a lot of money bags and killing SWATs on the way. SMG is lighter than rifles and have enough firepower to eliminate enemies. You will be mostly engaged in close range combat instead of longer range. You can go for lighter with pistol if you want, you can add, as you can always increase your damage with the use of skill perks. On stealth, with the engineer perk, you can open the sensor door to unlock a shortcut where you can safely transfer the money bags to Wen faster. If you don't, you still can complete without it. There's a chance that guard will be guarding the door near the wall room. You can drop anything that can be seen and lured by the guard. Once they are lured, pick it up before they dust and they will walk to the other destination soon. It rarely happens to players but sometimes they fail to neutralize 3 NPC at the same time when meeting the manager. Try intimidate them from sideways instead, as long as 3 of them are in light of sight of your gun in short range, it's good. If you don't have anything to open the lock gates, you can use the drill to open them. The reason why they can't get alerted by drilling is because the range of loud drill is far enough to not be heard. However, an NPC who is nearby may investigate the noises as soon as you drill the gate. It can be employee or guard. Before I go, uh, go, go do you guys that have any the withdrawal tips to share? Take out the camera operator. Okay, bye.